In this video, I'll break down how to create these really cool flicker effects in Final Cut Pro 10. So as you can see, this is what the flicker effect looks like. It just kind of like flickers on screen and it has these really cool like inverted effects. And I'll show you how to create both of these effects. The flicker effect is definitely a really cool effect. It definitely isn't for every video. It's definitely more for like, you know, fast paced, you know, trap vid uh, music videos. It's not for every single video, but it's definitely a really cool effect. If your video is really fast paced, it can really make your video, you know, more energetic and even add to the video and make the video seem even faster than it already is. The first method to creating this really cool flicker effect is by using like a black background. So if I head over here to titles and generators and I head over here to generators, I'm going to select the custom generator. I'm just going to place it on top of my clip. I'm going to set the duration to one. So this duration is set to one. So it just pops on screen for one frame. So I play as you can see 0, 0.01 one frame. And if I play the video, this is what it looks like. It just kind of pops up on screen. But what if you want to kind of have it repeating? are kind of flashing on and off the screen so what you want to do is you want to take the custom generator copy it and then you're just going to go every frame every other frame so i paste it i'm going to go forward one frame paste it go forward one frame paste it go forward one frame paste it and i'm going to go forward one frame and paste it again as you can see if i play the video it creates this really cool flicker effect and there you go that's how you create that really cool flicker effect so as you can see, each of these generators lasts on screen for one frame. So you can see 0, 0 0.01, they each last for one frame. And basically how you create that flicker effect is you place some sort of thing or clip or whatever on top of your actual clip and you basically just have it offset. So as you can see, if the screen is black, then you see the video. The screen is black, you see the video. The screen is black, you see the video. As you can see, you're just placing things on top of your clip. And in this example, we're placing a black background and you're basically just putting a gap between it and it's kind of simulating this really cool flicker effect so again if I play right here here's the black and then one frame one frame as you can see it's just every other frame now you could take the the actual like black background and kind of like make a bigger gap so it won't be as fast the smaller the gap the faster the flicker is going to happen so if I play right here as you can see and then it's kind of a little bit slower so you're basically just putting something on top of your video and you're just creating a gap and it, it simulates this really really cool flicker effect and there you go that's how you create a flicker effect you can use a black background you can use a white background Background. You can put a video on top. You can do whatever you want to do, but this is the concept and this is what you have to do in order to create that really cool flicker effect. The next method I want to go over is this really cool inverted flicker effect. So if I head over here to the adjustment layer, now this is a free plug and I will put the link to it down in the description below. I'm going to change the duration to control D six frames. I'm just going to change it to six frames. I'm going to go forward one, two, three. I'm going to place a marker and I'm just going to place it in between the two clips. So there's three frames on this side and then three frames on that side. So what you want to do is head over the adjustment layer and then I'm going to add an x-ray effect to it. So you can add whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to use an x-ray effect. Again, this is just an example. You can take exact, all, the, all the concepts and the idea that I show you in this video to create your own. But I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to add an x-ray effect to the adjustment layer. Then I'm going to head over here to a color board. I'm going to just add a color board. I'm going to take the saturation, just decrease the saturation. Head over the exposure. I'm just going to kind of drop the shadows down. This is just kind of what I want to do. You, But you can use the same concept and the same idea to create your own effect. And this is how you create this really cool like in inverted flicker effect. So I'm going to head over to the adjustment layer and make sure I'm on the adjustment layer. I'm going to head over here to the video inspector and I'm going to increase the scale to 120% just to kind of give a little life to the actual effect. So as you can see here is the video. It just scales up, has the inverted effect. This is scaled up and there you go. So basically just going for three frames. So one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and you create this really cool inverted flicker effect. So if I go ahead and play the video, this is what the effect looks like. It just creates this really cool inverted flicker effect. And there you go. That's how you create a flicker effect. Now you can do a couple of other things. You could copy the adjustment layer, kind of just put it randomly in the middle of the clip. So it kind of just flickers inverted. Or you can do again, you could add another transition, transitioning between these two clips. So once you create the adjustment layer and add the effect, you can just copy and paste it. And if I play the video, as you can see, there you go. You hear this really cool like flicker inverted effect. So that's pretty much all you're doing is you're basically just placing like an x-ray effect, a black screen. You're just placing it on top of your clip and you're basically just creating a gap between the different, you know, the black background or the um, adjustment layer with the inverted x-ray. And there you go. That's pretty much all it is. It's just, video, it's just a video or something on top of your, you know, previous video and you're just creating gaps in between them and it creates this, and it creates and simulates this really cool flicker effect. So if I play the video, this is what it looks like. 
like you create this really cool inverted kind of like flicker effect and there you go that's how you create the flicker effect in final cut now use the concepts and the ideas that i showed you in this video to create your own you don't have to exactly copy and do exactly what i did i just want to show you the concept and the idea behind the flicker effect or just how to create the flicker effect in final cut anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel i upload final cut pro 10 and apple motion 5 tutorials every week at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you do these types of videos definitely consider hitting that subscribe button also be sure to check out my final cut pro 10 playlist where there's over 300 tutorials to learn from lastly make sure to check out my digital store where i sell final cut pro 10 plugins anyways i'll see you in the next one peace